Hello friends, today we will discuss about RERA, what is RERA, what are the provisions, who are beneficiaries, how this impacting our life, all these things. First of all, let us start with some background and we will come to its provisions and ultimately these benefits, all this. All humans have three basic needs, food, cloth and shelter. And it has been observed that around 70% of savings of a common man goes to shelter. So this is has so much of importance. Another thing you may have come across demolition of Noida Twin Tower which happened on 28th August 2022. We will go about details of this demolition in other video. You may have come across Amrapali Housing Society scam of Noida, Greater Noida, Others Housing Society scam of Mumbai, Kerala Housing Society scam. Actually, this real estate sector is highly unorganized and builders are using their muscle power and others this uh, connection with politicians and authorities to get maximum benefit out of this and as the result a lot is our customers was suffering like anything to address this malaise government of india brought this radar app Real Estate Regulatory and Development Act of 2016. Some operations was implemented on May 1, 2017. And more portion was already introduced on May 1, 2016. Earlier there was a uh, rule, Consumer Protection Act 1986 that was not well equipped to deal with all these issues so government of india thought to bring some regulatory authority to deal with this situation we have SEBI to deal with financial markets rbi to regulate banking try for telecommunication same way, Government of India brought RERA Act to regulate real estate market. As per Indian Constitution, 7th Schedule, a state has right over land and land improvement. Whereas, regulation of contracts and transfer of property comes under concurrent act. So this rule was brought under this concurrent act. States are supposed to bring their RERA, state RERA within six months and set up a tribunal to deal with complaints and related issues. Under this RERA act, our main provisions of RERA acts are as follows. First one number and type of homes for sale builders have to notify this second thing sites and their layouts layouts of even a unit or home on sale complete specification third payment schedule whether this is construction link one time or subvention or anything whatever so complete payment schedule they have to give schedule of completion with all milestones further quarterly update of the status of the project with photographs must be uploaded on website RERA was authorized for complete regulation from conceptualization of a project 
till completion and delivery of project to allotees builders and associated real agents are mandated or uh, it was made mandatory to register with reda further third party escrow account was set up or uh, escrow account must be set up and 70% of received amount from customer must be deposited in this escrow account builders can withdraw this amount only after getting certification from engineer architect and chartered accountants and producing project capital requirements further if any defects arises to address this structural defects or anything government has proposal for this also government uh, introduced high bars defects liability period within that period builders have to rectify or address any defects under their project further there was a big issue of basic plan changing builders used to change basic plan or a specification to get benefit and screw up a lot is so it was mandated not to change any basic plan whatever submitted and and get approval in initial phase actually builders used to increase area under guise of super area and allotees all allotees are not well equipped to check all this and fall prey to builders so to address this issue government has rule ki builders cannot change any basic plan or any specification until unless he receives written approval from two thirds of allotees only after getting written approval from more than two thirds allotees they can change any specification or plan and that also must be submitted to reda and get approval from them also further allotees are given referral referral right they can raise their complaint to reda even they can ask for uh, refund full amount refund with interest e builders fails to complete project as envisaged in the beginning as they have given timeline will uh, allotees can withdraw further government has equitable role for both buyers and sellers for penalty clause if buyers fail to pay on time or fail to pay asked the amount time to time or payment obligations they will get penalty same way if sellers fails to deliver project on time they will also get same penalty further 5% of penalty for incorrect information or incomplete information for builders government will or authority will penalize up to 5% of project value for this incorrect information or incomplete information further a provision is made for imprisonment for emoluments for promoters associated real estate agents allotees in certain cases rera has to resolve issue complaints raised by allotees within 60 days rera was mandated to manage to set up real estate appellate tribunal 
and tribunal have to solve any complaint within 60 days but some people have some observations about this act they are complaining that more of money was spent on purchase of land than construction if a project is of 1000 crore definitely more than 500 crore is spent on acquisition of land and less than 500 crore uh, normally spent on construction so this is not fair further they are telling 70 percent amount to escrow accounts it is not fair because it may lie unused even after completion of project because more amount is spent on acquisition of land further there is no timeline for approval of any application to government authorities they can take their own time so if initiation is delayed if construction schedule is delayed in itself in uh, first part how the completion can be on time so there should be some timeline also for approval of submitted projects to rera further people raise concern over prevalence of black money rera is not able so far to curb this menace there is no clarity of land, land titles issue so far apart from this overall if you can see there is great success of rera as reported by economic times in may 12, 2020 more than 65539 complaints have been solved by rera customers are getting benefit their concerns are being resolved on timely manner nris are getting a safety armor in their hand as they are not in, in india they can monitor their project status anywhere in the world they can see whatever money they are paying that is being utilized and they can be rest assured of delivery of project further up to first quarter of 2020-21 more than 60,000 projects and 45,000 real estate agents have been registered on RERA platform so this shows acceptability and increasing credibility of RERA both parties are getting benefit of this or RERA approved projects are getting customers so it is easy to sell rera approved projects for any builder same way customers are also feel safe investing in a rera approved project they can rest assured to whatever timeline given whatever layout given or a specification given as per that one they will get delivered their project on time so this is creating wonderful acceptability credibility to rela and customers customers are now happy with whatever with some anomalies with rela act in the conclusion i want to say that no role is either weak or strong it depends upon ultimately implementing agency people of agency and overall mindset of people how they want to get best use of this in proper way there is good news that even supreme court has also upheld retroactive application of rera so this is becoming a bone to all people thank you